We know high blood pressure is a major risk factor for strokes, heart attacks, congestive heart failure, and kidney disease. And we know that high blood pressure, the silent killer, does not give you many symptoms and mostly is asymptomatic doing its damage relentlessly until we get a major cardiovascular complication, organ damage. And for these reasons, it is of paramount importance to know your numbers, measuring it. Now have a bonus uh, at the end of the video. You don't want to miss it, very important one. What are wrist blood pressure monitors? Understanding uh, wrist blood pressure monitors is important uh, because uh, these devices are portable and compact alternatives to traditional arm cuffs devices, but they're designed to measure blood pressure at the wrist uh, providing a conventional option for those seeking more accessible monitoring solutions. What are the components of the wrist blood pressure monitors? Uh, obviously, they all have a cuff that wraps around the wrist and have a display unit and buttons for control. And uh, some advanced models may also include other features like regular heartbeat detection, uh, memory storage, and download capabilities. When is the best to use uh, wrist blood pressure monitors as opposed to arm uh, cuff? These devices are suitable for individuals who may have difficulty using traditional arm cuffs, such as those with larger arms. They may not have access to a uh, well-fitting arm cuff at home. In addition, people who had the lymph nodes removed from the arm pit, the called axillary lymph node resection, uh, commonly seen in mastectomy, a removal of the breast for breast cancer. Under these circumstances, measuring blood pressure at the wrist is okay. And they are also more portable, but it's essential to follow the manufacturer's guidelines and consult with a healthcare professional to determine if a wrist monitor is suitable for you. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Are wrist blood pressure monitors accurate? While they offer convenience, there are some drawbacks, and wrist monitors may in fact be more sensitive to body position and movements, potentially leading to less accurate readings. And other factors, the obesity, age, and certain health conditions can also affect the precision. And it's crucial to be aware of these limitations to make informed decisions about your health. How to measure blood pressure with a wrist monitor? Let's dive into the practical aspects. Let's look at before the test and during the test. Before the test, you want to make sure you do not drink caffeinated beverage or smoke or exercise during the 30 minutes before the test. You want to make sure you make a pit stop at the restroom because a full bladder could actually increase your blood pressure. What happens, the full bladder reduces blood flow to your heart and kidneys and the body will elevate your blood pressure. And what to do during the test? Well, you want to make sure you are sit restful in the chair for five minutes before taking your blood pressure and really not watching TV and you not know, look at your phone and not talk and just relax and rest. And physical activity and stress can elevate your systolic blood pressure by 4 to 11 millimeters of mercury. You want to sit with your legs and back support in the chair, your feet flat on the floor and your back against the back of the chair with no gap because dangling legs or unsupported back can raise your blood pressure up to six millimeters of mercury. You want to make sure that you sit with your bare arm supported on a table but the wrist has to be at the heart level. Holding your arm in a supported position can add again five millimeters to your systolic blood pressure. And you want to keep your legs crossed. Crossing your legs, even your ankles, will restrict blood flow and can raise your systolic blood pressure between two and 15 millimeters of mercury. Now you're ready to take your own blood pressure. So place the wrist cuff directly above the wrist bone ensuring that it's a snug fit but it's not too tight and don't place it over clothes. Keep your wrist at the, again at the heart level and don't move during the test. If you don't bend the wrists, bending flexing your wrists will cause incorrect uh, readings. And follow the device instructions and press the start button and remain still during the measurement. Remember, consistency in technique is key to obtaining reliable results. And for more details on how to measure blood pressure, check this video, how to measure your own blood pressure, a doctor explains, I'll put a link above and on the description below. Which device to buy? 
So make sure you want to buy a validated device for Oculus. And here is a website that lists devices that are validated. It's important because most of the devices in the market, up to 80%, are not calibrated and not validated. If you go to the American Medical Association site, www.validatebp.org, they have a list of validated devices you could filter by brand, by connectivity, if they have Bluetooth, cuff size, and so on. The British and Irish Hypertension Society also has a website. The Hypertension Canada has also another website. We have a list of recommended devices. I'll put links on the description below. And once a year, you should take the device to your doctor's office and have them calibrate it and have them show you how to use it to compare how you do it, to make sure you're doing it right. Here's the bonus question, I promise. Which of these blood pressure devices are more accurate? Number one, wrist blood pressure monitors. Number two, arm monitors. Number three, blood pressure watches. Number four, I don't care. Which one do you think is the more accurate? The most accurate blood pressure machine is the upper arm cuff. The least accurate is the blood pressure watches. I'll give you continuous blood pressure reading and even other parameters including ECG monitor, heart rate and sleep tracking and they're very stylish and very expensive as well. I'm sure in the future they will get better and more accurate but at this point they are not. But as always remember your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.